Hello Familia! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Lizelle, your Pinay at home. So as you can see guys, we are diving right into my messy patio and there's just so much that needs to be done. So sit back and relax as I show you Familia my patio makeover. So over the winter season, we kind of neglected our back patio. I'm not such a fan of cold weather. So we don't have much reason to hang out here in s except to grill. But now that warmer days are here, it's time to get this patio that much needed makeover. Now after everything is put away, you see how the deck accumulated so much dirt and algae and who knows what. But I'm just so glad we have a friend that helped us remove all those out using his pressure washer. And you guys, there's just so much grime that he was actually able to write my screen name in there. <laughs> Now this is how it looks after pressure washing it and as you can see what a big difference it makes and now I'm just waiting for this to dry and what a perfect timing because the furniture that I have ordered just arrived and now the fun part is putting them all together I actually got this set from Big Lots it was such a great deal and honestly putting this together was not too bad because my husband is here to do the hard work and I'm kind of just assisting and my daughter as well is just helping too <laughs> supervising pretty much you might be wondering why we're not doing this in the patio already but the weather has not been really good um, it's been raining on and off that's why we're just doing this in the garage after all the furniture been assembled we took them out to my freshly cleaned patio and as you can see guys we are like going in circles we're like figure out how to arrange them so while we're doing all that it rained again so it's been really on and off as i have mentioned earlier so that's a funny thing about doing things outside is you are really depending on mother nature what it gives you so while we are waiting for Mr. Sun to come out, I went ahead and planted my, well, repotted my herbs and flowers with the help of my little helper. story you guys my younger daughter when she was like six months old she is so excited every time she sees some birds so me and my husband we decided to get some bird feeders so that she can see birds all the time and that's how we have this bird feeder she just love it So seeing those birds enjoying their food from my bird feeder is a sign that today's weather is gonna be good so I'm removing this furniture cover which is so awesome to have because obviously they save my furniture from getting wet and extends their life. Now to make this space inviting and comfortable, I added this rug which is just beautiful. I love the color and the pattern and I think it adds such visual interest to the space. Then we utilize this old ottoman that I have as our coffee table and I think it's just a perfect size for this set. Next thing we purchased for this area is a sticky torch from Walmart which was very inexpensive way to add a tropical vibe to the outdoors. It comes with a snuffer cap to put out the flame once you light it and not only that it does keep 
the mosquitoes away, but it also transformed the ambiance of my patio. And at the last part of this video, I will show you guys how this tiki torch look when it's dark. I was so excited when I saw this in Walmart. I can't believe that they're selling this here. I am from Philippines, so I grew up using these repelling coils. And trust me when I say this, this really works. This is not a sponsored video, so I won't get anything from it by telling you that this really works from getting rid of mosquitoes. Because last year, mosquitoes are all over the place and I got bit everywhere. <laughs> so I promise this year, I won't get any mosquito bite so i took precaution by having this and my tiki torch so i'm good for the summer now next thing we purchased for this patio is this umbrella it's an offset umbrella from amazon and i think this is a perfect size i love how it looks in here and it provides that perfect shade that we needed for that scorching sun during the midsummer days. And this doesn't come with a base, so my husband just screwed this and it's actually working pretty well holding it down. So I thought I was done, but then I realized that my chairs are blocking our way when we want to get out of the patio and when we come in from inside our house the chairs are in our way so i have to reposition everything here i promise this is gonna be the last position for now <laughs> Next, I incorporated this pincushion flower for that pop of color. I used this tool to um, add more height and I just love this flower because it blooms for months from mid-spring through summer and they are perennial so they come back each year as long as I don't kill them. Now for this space, I incorporated this lemon tree. We call it calamansi in the Philippines and this was so little when i bought this and now it is so big and i actually got this from lowe's like three years ago so i keep this in my basement because they are native to tropical countries so they don't do well during really cold weather but these little lemons are a very good source of vitamin c Next, I'm bringing in this yucca cane plant, which is one of my indoor plants. I love how this plant gives such a tropical and exotic look. And I added two types of lavender. I just love how lavender looks also. It's just giving you that rustic vibe. And I am grouping them in three for that added visual interest. Next, I added this plant tray which provides contrast between my coffee table and the vase that hold the stems that I just cut from my backyard. Before we move along, I want to share with you guys my favorite drink so far. And this is just very easy to make. It's a combination of lemon. So any lemon will do. As you can see, my daughter, she's just picking some lemons from my calamansi tree and then you need some fresh mint so all i do is i'm actually mixing a regular lemon here with that calamansi that i just my daughter got and then i added some chia seeds because chia seeds is incredibly high in nutrients and then to sweeten it up a little bit i added some honey and that is it you guys it's very easy to make and this is very refreshing show you again how my patio looked before it is just looking so sad and here it is now
just so glad of how everything turned out this is like our little oasis now we love to spend our time over here in the morning and even at night it's just so relaxing hearing all the birds i know you've heard all the birds around my background right now and we did our dinner here and this is really nice to have this space in our yard now that the sun is coming down it's official time for us to light this tiki torch and that's my daughter she gets so excited because it was her first time to strike the match and she was so happy to do that This is how our patio looked like in the middle of the night. I love how everything turned out and you guys, I really appreciate you for taking your time to watch and enjoy this with me. I really hope that you had fun and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy it. So I hope to see you all again on my next video. You have a great day everyone. Bye now.